It's a couple Jordan one retros and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go L, play some B and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from the bottom of the one arrival. This part of our culture, you gotta be fly. Round flowing with the air forces. Put that shit on to the day that I die. Nikes over out of these straight. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist. And y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. I hope everybody's having a great day. As you guys see, we have some smoke grays lined up right here. Now, in today's video, I'm going to let you guys know why I think you should hold on to these shoes. If you have multiple pairs, do not sell them yet. I am telling you, do not strike too early. You might sell yourself short. I was able to pick up a size 6Y, which I'm going to touch on the GS size. And I was able to get a double up in my size, which is a size 11. When it comes to Air Jordan 1s, we know that it's no secret that the resale has always been good on them. Money sizes have always been around about the size 8 all the way to like 9 and a half, 10. But recently, we've seen a little change in the situation. We've been seeing higher sizes get better price value in the aftermarket. Now, one thing that I want to share with you guys is the simple fact when I say hold on to this shoe and don't sell yourself short. I have four sneakers that I'm going to show you as well as just break down if you're new to sneakers on why I think you should hold this shoe. The colorway definitely is a slick colorway. I'm going to grab this GS pair right here. The colorway is slick. You do have this nice suede on there and this kind of fuzzy like feeling and the color blocking a lot of people were saying that the, they feel like these pay homage to the unions. So a lot of people we're calling them poor man unions but we know that jordan ones always hold value it doesn't matter even the jordan one colorways that nobody wants over time they end up gaining value and that's what i'm gonna share with you guys today the shoes that i'm gonna show you are sneakers that came out last year being that these some of these sneakers weren't that hype and these being hype we got four sneakers right here that are all air jordan ones that came out last year and i'm gonna tell you guys honestly out of all these sneakers i think that the hypest release out of all of these probably would have been the turbo greens at that time even when the turbo greens came out the price still wasn't going stupid high you could get these for about 220 dollars now looking at them we're going to touch on them they're going for a lot more i'm going to start off with the crimson air jordan retro one and i'm just going to say that this shoe came out i saw a lot of people getting these in outlets i saw them going on sale inside of the stores and most people didn't really like them just because of the quality on them i also touched on sneakers that were outlet bound that are going for money i put this one inside of the video as well so right here is the crimson tint prices right now and i'm using stock x normally because i think that stock x normally has better prices than goat and you're able to bid on sneakers you can bid on goat too but it seems like it takes forever when you try to bid on goat for somebody to accept something but these are the prices right now in men's sizes as i stated before this sneaker came out last year it wasn't going for that much within a year and maybe a little bit of change my size is going for 290 which is easy capping off around about 330 by the time you add the seller's fee the shipping fee and the processing fee with StockX. so you're sitting at a good good profit right there especially if you're trying to trade because a lot of people when they get shoes they rock them they don't hold them they keep them on ice some people do keep them on ice i've worn all of these sneakers that i'm showing the gs sizes are easily going for over 300 dollars easy y'all and nobody really cared about the crimson tints like that then you take for example a sneaker that a lot of people was like trash it's just like crinkled up newspaper it's just not even all that dope the phantom one i thought that this was very unique when they did this shoe right here slick colorway and i had to have them the price now for these are easy going for about three hundred dollars y'all and that's including the processing fees and everything in men's sizes some going for four 475 for the lowest ass for size 7 but at the same time it is what people want to bid to get the sneaker when it comes to the GS sizes you're looking at pretty much mid threes going up to low fours even up to the high fours if you guys see this right here a size three and a half wide people want 494 for the lowest ass and again this was a sneaker that was outlet bound not many people wanted it and this is why I say sometimes you just got to jump on stuff because then I know it's a lot of people out there to be like, oh, I regret buy what you like and don't wait sometimes because this right here was a shoe that I don't I didn't think that I was expecting this one to go up that high in price, whether it been in a GS or man size hyper crimson. This pair right here, another pair. 
and these actually have pretty good suede i would actually say that the suede i still think the suede is softer on this pair right here when it comes to the smoke grays but very very dope shoe when these came out you know pretty much mimicking off of the turbo greens with having that type of hit and everything the textures on them and everything they're very similar that distressed tongue i like everything about these another sneaker that i saw that it sat on the shelf in some areas in some areas it did sell out just because one shoe sells out in one area doesn't mean it is necessarily going to sell out in another area and men's sizes you guys can see they range anywhere between the high twos all the way up to $591 for a size 7 and that's the lowest ass now size 16 17 and 18 them 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 big foot unicorn sizes basketball players not many people buying those like that so I can see why the price is actually a little bit lower than what you would expect for the resale value now what this one right here is the turbo green one of my favorite Jordan ones that released last year colorway was just stupid crazy I love this sneaker right here I've worn this a bunch of times and Hey, nobody, people were selling these things like hotcakes, 200, 220, easy, flying. Now this shoe going for like 400 something dollars, y'all. And GS sizes are booming as well. And it's only been a little bit over a year since this sneaker released. You can see right here, going even the big sizes, I think a, the size 18 for 188, all the way up to a size seven going to 685 for the lowest ass. People are spending bread on these things, man. The GS sizes, they boom too. Going from the fours to the low fives, man, it is booming. So that is why I'm trying to tell you guys to hold on to these sneakers. With the smoke gray, I definitely feel like it was more hyped up than any of them other sneakers that I just showed you. Therefore, I see this shoe capping out around low threes to all the way up to four to 450 for this sneaker. And that's just being within probably about the next year. So that's why I'm saying, hold on to your sneakers. You might be able to get some good trade bait with somebody come down the line. You might get a two for one, it's possible. But you can definitely make some bread off of these down the line. Holding on to them, you will definitely be able to invest. You can get other sneakers, get that trade bait. That's what I like to do. I love getting trade bait because it's, it's something good. I, I know I went to True North last year and I cashed out that I had doubles of, put that money back into my car, which was a great idea and choice for me because, hey, I can only wear one shoe, but I have, I do love having double ups, but some of them I had triple ups of, so it was no point on me holding on to that many sneakers. But these right here will definitely go up in value, y'all. If you did not hit on a pair, I definitely would say strike now. If not, you will probably bite that bullet and be mad down the line because I'm telling you that these shoes are definitely going to shoot up. I can definitely see this GSI is going for around about $400 down the line within the next year. And this pair right here, definitely easy. $350 all the way up to $4 something. Easy, y'all. And especially when people want to throw around the union type of vibes off of the sneaker and all of that. I told you guys numerous times that I feel like these are a Chicago to Baron paying homage just because of the top all the way down to the upper and inner outer panels of the shoe all the way to the toe cap just feels like a barren type vibe to me because of the colorway and the colorway up at the top let me know what you guys think about this how do you guys feel about the sneakers in 2020 i do feel like 2020 is like 2012 all over again it's been crazy shoes that you think are gonna sit are actually flying you take for example the air jordan retro 11 low ie that came out today those things flew man they're gone they sold out and i expected them to sell out but i do expect certain shoes to restock i could we could possibly see the smoke grays drop one more time maybe two times throughout the year but either way when they do it they're not going to drop as many sneakers as that they think they're going to drop you never know when it comes to sneakers what's going to be hot what's going to be not until it actually hit the shelves a lot of people are getting their sneakers in right now so you know we watch the sneakers dec decrease in value over the first couple weeks because people are trying to get rid of them people think that oh when they first release the shoe it's going for this price then over the week when people start getting their pairs, pairs in people are letting them fly so then they're like oh man i need to let it go real quick well when they let it go real quick there's always that one person out there that's willing to jump on that price and then they're probably just going to sit on it and hold it and they can still make a profit off of it but it is your boy the retro whiz kid let me know y'all's thoughts on these sneakers where do you guys think these are going to cap out at the only reason why I, uh, I really wanted to do this video 
though, is because of the simple fact that we've been having a lot of debates and I've been seeing it in a lot of sneaker groups on Facebook. My partner hit me up from North Carolina yesterday and he was like, bro, where do you think this shoe was going to cap out at? And I told him between 350 and 450. That's where I see it capping at. And that's where I see it within the next year. So hold on to your smoke grays. You might be able to get you some good money. You might be able to get you a good trade down the line when you miss out on a sneaker. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social media platforms. You guys can follow me over on Facebook at the Retro Wiz Kid, over on Instagram at the Retro Wiz Kid, Wiz underscore Retro over on Twitter. I love you guys. Peace, love, and Laguna Beach. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Yeah! It's a couple Jordan 1 Retros, and they got to be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I got a lace so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together.